In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Keep. So let's get started. First, just go to your browser. Ensure that you've signed in with your Google account. So you can see that on the top right. And then just search for keep.google.com. So once you search for this, it will directly take you to Google Keep. And this is the dashboard for Google Keep. So on the left, we have all the different pages. The first one is for notes. So we'll see all of the notes that we create over here. The second page is for reminders. So if we have any upcoming reminders, we'll see that here. Then we have labels. So once we create labels, you'll see those pages. After that, in the center of the screen is where you'll see all of the notes that you have. And this is the place from where you can create notes. And then on the top right, you can change the view. Then there are a few settings, which I'll talk about later in this video. So now coming to the main thing, and that's creating notes. So to create a note, we just have to click on take a note that's written over here. And now we can start our note. So on top, we can add a title and below that we can have our actual note. And once you're done, just click on close. And as you can see, the note has come here. So the same way we can keep adding more notes. And if you want to create notes, either with checkboxes or with images or drawings, you can check out these three options over here. First one is a new list. Second is with a drawing and third is with images. So let's say we want a list. I can just click on that. And now I have a note where I can create a list of items. So again, you can just add a title and now you can start listing them in the note. Again, once you're done, just click on close. And as you can see, this has come as a list. So the same way I'll quickly add a few more notes. Now, as you can see, I have these notes and now we can make a few changes to this dashboard. First, we can pin the notes, which we feel are important. So let's say I want to pin left to do. Then I'll just hover my mouse over the note and click on this button that's on the right. And as you can see, it's come on top. So here we will have all of the pinned notes and below that we will have the others. Then another thing we can do is change the view. If you click on this button on the top right, as you can see, now we've got a list view. And if you want to change it back, just click on this to get the grid view. Now that this is done, I'll show you some formatting options, which we have when we're creating notes. So I'll create one more note. And if you see at the bottom, we have all these options. So the first one is adding reminders. So let's say this is a note with a deadline. Then we can select the first option saying remind me and we can put a reminder. So if we want it later today, I'll just select that. And now this note has a reminder of 8 PM today. After that, we can add collaborators to this note. So if you click on this option, then here you can enter the email IDs of the people who you'll want to share this note with. So I've added my email ID and I'll click on save. And now this note is shared with this email ID. After that, we can change the appearance. So the third button is for the background options. And if you click on it, we can change the color. Or if you want an image, you can do that as well. After that, we can add images to the note. If you click on this button, that's add image. Then here we can upload any image from our PC and it'll show up in our note. After that, we have a few more options. If you click on the three dots over here, but from here, there are three which are really important. So I'll first talk about add a drawing. So if you want to annotate in your note, just click on add drawing. Now I can annotate anything that I want over here. And now if I go back, as you can see, this has come in my note. Now these are all of the formatting options related to notes. And the next thing we can do is labels. So for each note, we can assign a label to it. So you can think of labels like playlists in YouTube. So we can have a label called work. So all of our notes, which are related to work, we can add the label work to it. So this helps you organize all of your notes based on what they're meant for. So now I'll show you how to create labels and assign notes to them. So we'll just click on edit labels. That's on the left over here. Now I can create a new label. So I'll just call one work. Then if I want to create another one, I can just type it in over here. So I have two for now work and personal. And I'll just click on done. And as you can see, two new pages have come up over here. 
So if I click on personal, then I can see all of my notes with this label. So currently it's empty, but this is the idea. It helps you separate your notes and keep it more organized. So I'll go back to the notes page and here I'll assign labels to my notes. So for things to buy, let's say this is personal. Then I'll open this note. Then I'll click on the three dots which are here and click on add label. Here we already have the label personal. So I'll click on it and now I'll just click on close. And as you can see, the label has come here. And now if I go to personal, this note has come here. So this is how it works. For all of these notes, if there's a certain label that you'll want to add to it, then you could just add it over here. And then in the labels page, you'll see all of the notes related to it. And you can add multiple labels for one note. The next thing I'll show you is the search and filter. So if you have many notes, which you will once you start using this, then you can find a certain note by searching for it on top. So if I want to search for the note called things to buy, I can just type that in and it's come here. So this is easy, but they also have a filter which makes it a lot more helpful. So we can filter it based on all of these different categories like type, label, things, people you've collaborated with. So let's say I want to find all of the notes which I've shared with this account. I can just click on this. And as you can see, this note has come. So this is how the search filter works. And it's really helpful once your notes start increasing. And the last thing I want to show you is converting a Google Keep note into Google Docs. Again, it's really simple. Just open the note that you'll want to do this for. Then click on the three dots and click on copy to Google Docs. And in a matter of a few seconds, it'll create a new Google Doc with this note. So I'll open this. And as you can see, it's the same. They've added the title as left to do. And they've also added the points which I added in the note. And the last feature of Google Keep that I really like is its ease of access when you're using other Google apps. So here I'm on Google Docs, but if I just open the side panel, so in the bottom right, there's this arrow. So if I click on it, then here, the second option is Google Keep. And if I click on this, all of my notes have come here. And just like this, I can access my notes. So this is what all you need to know when you're using Google Keep. And if you want to know how to create Google Forms, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.